Welcome to Crema Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, Africa delivers usual reliable performance with steady output and lower costs. Marafe reports 720 million rand half year profit and higher chrome ore prices and weaker currency. And Exaro is expecting interest rates to begin to lower during the remainder of this year. The Africa region delivered its usual reliable performance with steady production as well as contained costs. Now to Africa and Middle East region, which delivered its usual reliable performance with steady production and well-contained costs. Another steady quarter for Lulagon Koto, with cash costs well-contained and all in sustaining costs impacted by additional stripping for the Yalea pit pushback. Positive results from ongoing brownfields exploration point to further life of mine extension opportunities. And as we indicated last quarter, we continue to engage with the government of Mali on their desire to increase their benefits from the mining industry while protecting our rights and the economic viability of the Lulo Goncoto complex going forward. In the north of the Lulo permit, drill results from the Baboto target have identified a large-scale well-endowed system with high-grade intercepts. This, along with other near-mine targets, augurs well for Lulo Goncoto to again replace the gold they mine this year. And um, across to the DRC, where Kabali picked up speed after a slow start to the year with waste stripping providing access to higher grade open pit ore. Meanwhile, next year's planned commissioning of its solar power and battery storage facility will complement the mine's three hydropower plants increasing the renewable component of its energy use to 85%. And in fact, for six months of the year, we'll have 100% renewable energy driving uh, our power delivery. Marafe has reported a profit of 720 million rand for the six months ended June 30 on higher realized chrome ore prices and a weaker rand dollar exchange rate. The first half of 2024 was challenging. With most of the headwinds we had outlined at the time panning out, there is still a lot of uncertainty in the system, which should indicate that the second half is not going to be any easier. There are some positives, though, with improvements in electricity supply and logistics. The negotiated pricing agreement provides some pricing certainty and going forward we will continue to focus on efficiencies in our operations, cash preservation, managing costs and efficient capital allocation. Coal and energy company Xaro is expecting the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the Bank of England and the South African Reserve Bank among others to start lowering official or policy interest rates during the remainder of this year. After a slow start, global economic growth prospects have improved. However, with 49% of the world's population heading to the polls in this year, including our export markets, a wait-and-see attitude continues to prevail, further complicated by the ongoing conflicts in Russia and the Middle East. In South Africa, the recent results from the elections and subsequent creation of the Government of National Unity have driven positive sentiment towards this country. But uncertainty still lingers in respect of policy execution. Inflation rates have continued to trend downward, allowing central banks to consider cutting interest rates. We expect the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the Bank of England, and South African Reserve Bank, among others, to start lowering official or policy interest rates during the remainder of this year. 
For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for a free daily newsletter.